Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ollie from Flight Comp, and I'm going to do sort of like an unboxing product review today. Don't really do any of these, but uh, maybe I'll start doing more in the future, or uh, maybe I'll get lazy and I won't. Who knows? But uh, this is a, a new charger from Toolkit RC. It's a compact charger. It's, it's basically a standard charger. It'll do, you know, LiPo and LiPo high voltage and nickel metal and all that kind of stuff. But it has uh, some other interesting features which kind of caught my interest. Um, here's the box, sort of a nondescript box. You know, this is sort of just like a... I've never heard of Toolkit RC before, so I think it's just like a generic, uh, you know, Chinese brand charger. But uh, let me uh, tell you guys some of the features it's supposed to have. So besides being a normal charger, it's also a battery, it's also a cell checker, a servo tester, which is really cool. And then it has, uh, uh, it can also um, test your uh, receiver and flight controllers, like, you know, PWM, PPM, SBUS. SBUS. And um, it also has a variable power uh, supply output. So you can actually use this to power... Um, your model on the bench or other other things you might have. Um, this charger can supply power to um, you know your receiver and servos and things like that. So it's kind of like a all-in-one uh, charger, and you know if it's it's compact, so if it can replace uh, a charger of mine and a servo uh, tester and uh, a battery checker, well, I think it'll be a cool little product. So let's go ahead and uh, get this guy out of the box. Cut her open and see what we got here. I've sold a few of these, but I haven't actually used one myself. I've never even uh, held one. So, by the way, if uh, if you're interested in this, I'll put a link to uh, my website where you can get more details and, and buy one if you're if you want. They come in uh, white and black. I think this one is black. Well, there you go. Not much happening here. Has a few scratches on the screen from the factory, so that's a nice added bonus. Let's see, here's the charger. You have your output, balance connections. Uh, oh, it has a uh, a USB port too, so you could charge up your uh, your phone or other mobile device. That's nice. And then it has a servo con servo connector here, I guess, for testing your servos or receiver. And then uh, your input um, XT60 on input and output, much like uh, ISDT is doing now and a lot of other chargers. And then let's see if there's anything. In here, little tiny manual, USB, USB to USB, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, let's see, manual, manual, a lot of Chinese writing on this side. English on this side. Let's see. Uh, we can uh, read off some of the um, specifications for this guy. So it'll charge lipo, lipo high voltage, life, nickel metal, PB batteries. Uh, char charging output or power is uh, 0.1 to 15 amps at 300 watts. Discharge power. 0.1 to uh, 15 amps at 300 watts in recycling mode and 0.1 to 3 amps at 12 watts in normal mode. USB output on the side is 2.1 amps at 5 volts. And then, uh, okay, so we have the uh, receiver stuff here to check the receiver. It says it has a watt meter on it. 0.1 to 15 amps at max 300 watts. Okay, 
Well, that's interesting. All right, let's uh, let's plug this thing in and see what the menu's like and uh, how it works. All right, I uh, have a lipo plugged in here to uh, power up the charger, and this is the first menu we get. So we have charger here, measure, output, and settings. So let's just go to the charger, see what happens. Oops, exit, charger. Okay, looks like you can uh, definitely set up some charge settings and store them. Let's see what this does here. Okay, lipo, lipo high voltage, life, nickel metal, PB. Let's go back to lipo. You can adjust your uh, charge rate, discharge rate. So we have storage, discharge, charge. So I get to hook up a battery to get these to work. So pretty standard on the um, charge settings. Let's hit the exit button a few times. Measure, measurer. Is that a word, measurer? Okay, we'll see. Okay, so PWM, PPM, S bus. Battery, ESC, that's interesting, you could do it ESC, but it's um, max 15 amps, so I would imagine it'd be pretty small ESC. Okay, let's see what else we got here, output, PWM, PPM, S bus. Power. Okay, let's see. Let's check out the power supply here. Okay. Typical custom. Hmm. It's got a bunch of DJI stuff programmed in here. Mavic, Phantom, Inspire. Yeah, Alright, let's just go to custom. Oops. This button's a little weird, man. Custom, okay, oh, okay. Let's say uh, we want to test servos, so. Let's see if we can dial this down. Let's say 7.4 volts. Oh man, this button's a little annoying. It's very sensitive. Amperage. Start, stop. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see what else do we have. Uh, settings. Okay, uh, lowest input, input power, safe temperature, safe charge time, discharge mode, internal. Man, I'm not liking this button here. Discharge mode internal, S bus value, backlight, contrast, buzzer, idle beep, hub support, language, all that. All right. Well, let's um let's try to power up some servos. Let me get something set up here and see if we can power up some servos. All right, I have my uh bench testing airplane here and I have the uh, charger set for 7.4 volts and 5 amps and we'll just go to start and see if the uh, magic smoke comes out of any of my components on my airplane and then turn the switch on So everything's working fine. So this is definitely a really cool feature. It'll, uh, you know, it can help you out in a lot of situations, powering up your models or other devices you might have. That seems to work very well. Okay, maybe the next thing 
I'll check out is uh, the uh, cell checker. Let's see if we can find that somewhere. Maybe go to the measurer menu. Let's see, you got battery. Okay. So I would imagine these are where the uh, cell voltages are going to be. So I have a uh, 3S battery here. Plug her in. And yeah, shows up, uh, shows the uh, individual voltages. Definitely have a low cell. <laughs> One tip if you want to use the uh, M8 to uh, check uh, your cells at the field, uh, just plug the um, main power connector to the input and then plug the balance lead onto the balance connector. And we should be able to get a cell reading, as you can see here. Okay, another interesting feature, if you want to uh, discharge your battery using the recycle mode, uh, the charger will actually, instead of wasting the, batter the, uh, the energy from discharging the battery, it'll actually push uh, some current back into your... Um, power source, like I use these big uh, LiPos at the field to charge my smaller batteries, so theoretically it should push power back into your power source so you're not wasting that current. Um, so let's see if we can get that set up. We'll go to settings, discharge mode, recycle, exit. So with our battery hooked up, if we want to uh, discharge now in recycling mode, The juice that we're draining from this pack should theoretically go to your main power supply pack, which might uh, be handy in extending the life of your uh, power supply pack if you're at the end of the day and maybe you're going to discharge a few batteries or put them into storage. Okay, real quick, I uh, hooked up a servo and the, uh, the M8 is cycling it. So the uh, servo checker test uh, function of the charger seems to work. Um, it has a couple of auto modes and uh, a manual mode as well. As you can see, there's the manual mode. One thing I don't like is it takes a lot of turning of this knob to make all the adjustments. So I wish that the uh, adjustments could be made a little quicker. Well. I've only just played with this charger a little bit, but, uh, you know, it's very interesting. It's a, it's a cool little unit. Um, like I said, it's just a basic charger, so there's nothing special about the actual charging features of it. Um, the quality of it seems to be okay. Definitely the plastics and buttons and everything aren't the highest quality I felt. They're nowhere near as good like as an ISDT. Um, but considering the price, this is between probably like 42 and $45. It might be a good value. Who knows about long-term longevity of this product? It could, it could fry itself in a, you know, a couple weeks. A lot of times, uh, that's just how these cheap Chinese products are. But if it works long-term, it's pretty good because, you know, you have this little, pretty compact charger and you can you know basically use this to replace all this stuff right so I have a my normal charger that I use I have a cell checker and I have this high-tech servo tester which is really huge and bulky so I think for the money it's it's probably a pretty good value um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it and, um, you know, if it does anything stupid or, or destroys itself or melts down any of my stuff I try to use it with, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I like it. So uh, there was a, you know, quick look at the Toolkit RC. It's called a M8. Toolkit RC M8 charger. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Super duper unboxing video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.